Good morning, Cyber Traders. How's everybody doing this morning on this lovely Wednesday? Good to see you all. Gene, Chris, Benito, good to see you. Bali, everybody. All right. Welcome back, everyone. Great morning so far. We're killing it so far this morning. You know what's weird? I always feel like when we trade, some of the most popular stocks that we make most of our money start with the letter C. I don't know. It's just weird. I was just, I was, I was just looking at them like, Another C stock that's up 89%. My God, another great one. Good to see you, Lita. Um, you got this one, the CETX. You guys are killing it on this one. And also the other one, the CETX. Let me just bring that up. We'll talk a little bit about that a little bit later too. Uh, ETX. And the, uh, the CLVS, that one right there. That one was unbelievable right in pre-market. Check this. This one was probably was one of the easiest ones that we traded. This one just ran from 10 bucks all the way up to 11.45. Let me tell you something. I got lucky on this trade. I really truly got lucky. Um and what do I mean by luck? I sold the stock at exactly 11.45 and it looked like it was going to break it and everything else the rate it was going and I chased it at 11, okay? After after it ran, I missed the 10.50 call. Uh, and the 11 call, but he says, you know what, things going up, and like, what the hell, right? But just got, I don't know, just got out right the right time. And I said it earlier. Listen, if I could buy, it, if it backs off, it does because it looked like it was doing a shake. Um, Benito, you made about 35 cents on that, right? Uh, it must be the C day. <laughs> C is definitely all C's. I mean, I tell you, every time I see the C stocks, always to do better for us. But anyway, we're going to talk a little bit about those. There's a bunch of stocks that are moving this morning, not including some really good swing trades like the, the uh, TLRY that we traded yesterday, which I want to talk about right now. Uh, let me just fix the time frame in here. So anyway, uh, the TLRY, you know, we all remember TLRY. This stock, TLRY, let me just go back and just kind of remind everybody. This was that stock we traded went to $300. Remember? Yes, that does happen for some people that, we're not here. And if you go back and watch some of the videos when that stock did that, yes, we did trade it. Yes, it was one of probably historically one of the greatest short squeezes ever in the history that I can remember. Of. But how do you get a stock go from 21 up to 300? And it actually, I remember, went from 100 to 300 in one day. That was the most scariest. That thing was moving like five, ten dollars a minute. It was sick. Okay. But anyway. Stock had a great, great run up yesterday. Ran from 17 all the way to 22, you know, effing dollars. I mean, look at that beautiful trade, just gorgeous. Um, she's backing off now. She gapped up, but um, but she's going to be on the watch list because I'm feeling a little bit more that she's now she's starting to become a little more of a swing trade than a day trade. Uh, but yesterday she was a great, great day trade. But there were a couple other one I want to I want to touch before we go on because yesterday was actually a really, really good day. Uh, LJPC, we also trade. By the way, this is all for everyone to remind who missed some of these stocks that we traded. This stock also, you want to be a good swing trader, you damn well better learn how to day trade because how do you know what to swing trade? This stock we've been trading in the last several days, $4 stock, look at it right here. Stock went already to 8 talking about a 50% mover, testing major resistance levels. How do we know that? Hello, buddy, we see you right there at 6,000 shares selling at 860. So we see where you are. But anyway, if that guy gets done, we know where it's going to go. But this stock also, nice stock. You guys did really well. Seven all the way to 880. Uh, what else did we have? Listen, all the, you know, everybody keeps talking about the bank stocks, the bank stocks, the bank stocks. EAC, you know, Bank of America. You know, the problem is you're dealing with the best traders on Wall Street. You know, they were great, great movers. You know, uh, JP Morgan. They're all great stocks, you know, but, you know, we're not going to be trading $140 stock. Listen, uh, I said it earlier, uh, Tesla, I mean, that was probably the best trade since uh, October. A $200 stock went to almost, look at that, 550 Things just been a rocket just in January, 400 But you know what? I know everyone's going to say, ah, but you can trade the options. Okay, no problem. But how do you know which option to trade if you don't know what the stock is doing? So that's why it's always important. I kind of always repeat that over and over again. But anyway, a lot of good moving stocks. and. But the, and one other stock I just want to bring up, the SDC was another one, a little bit all over the place. But that one went from ten dollars to twelve twenty. You could see, you know, a lot of people always ask how long you got a day trade. I don't know, first thirty minutes, pretty much. It, that's really what it takes. 
But um, but anyway, a lot of good stocks that traded yesterday. Listen, th that's over. Okay, let's go to the archives. That's in the past. Let's focus about. Let's focus about today. So what do we had so far in pre market that a lot of you guys are killing it? The ETX. Look at that breaking out. Fausto flag. Everything that we were taught in class, okay, it's doing exactly what it's doing. And some of you remember, we traded the stock in July when we went from a buck fifty to five dollars a share. So it is, is it is it too late to jump in? I don't know. The market even opened up yet for crying out loud, okay? So I want you to keep a close eye on that. Listen, PCG, another stock has been a really good swing stock. Um, did good day trade yesterday from eleven to twelve, gapped up right now at twelve sixty. We know this stock very very well. Uh, the Utility company California took all the blame for all the forest fires. We did a lot. We made a lot of money with this stock, you know. But anyway, she's moving up pretty nicely. PLRY with the pot stocks. Keep an eye on them, okay? You know, all these pot stocks are all doing pretty well. So I don't know what the story is, but uh, you know they're actually doing pretty well. Keep an eye on them. What else we got? A couple other ones. Uh, blast from the past. FLNT. Okay, some of them that we didn't mention so far. This stock gapped up pretty nice yesterday. You could see right in after hours, obviously, it's an earnings announcement play. But she's starting to trend down now, so I'm not, I'm not too crazy about that. But you could see back in August, it had a big, it took a little bit of a major hit from 450 down to 250. So it's more or less a gap fill right there. So that one looks pretty good. OGI, I'm going to keep a close eye on this one too. Another after hours trade right there, 210, all the way to 290. You got some resistance levels right around three bucks. So I like that one too. That one, keep an eye on it also. MNTA. Uh, this stock has just been a good day trade and a swing trade. Look at that stock. Went from yesterday. Great move. And, you know, if you remember this stock, it was a, it, it, yesterday, for some of you that traded, it just really never really backed off. The only thing that problem I had with it, it was kind of slow. You know, it wasn't really kind of like taking a really good momentum. You know, like it never backed off and just had to say, you know what? Let me just buy it. But anyway, breaking all-time highs, pharmaceutical stock. Listen, did anybody watch the debates uh, last night? Anybody watch the debates, you know, with the Democratic Party? Do you want to know the best trade that you will make? The best trade, okay? What is the number one thing that, for example, like Bernie Sanders is, is promoting? Medicaid for all. And when you, if you know, and, and this is very important. This is how traders work. Let's just say... You know, God forbid Bernie Sanders, whatever, wins, right? That, it could happen. He wants to get rid of private health care. You want to know the greatest short? You short private health care. All those stocks, Aetna, all of them, $100, $200 stocks are going to go to zero. Well, maybe not zero, but listen, if that happens, you want to know how trading works? You listen to them. If that's their agenda, and if they, and if they do get that, and if, if they get elected, that's what you have to target. These are great opportunities for you. This is what traders look for, Okay. So, you know, you might like them, you might hate them, whatever it may be, but you got to listen very carefully because the same thing happened even when Obama got elected and President Trump got elected. You know, um, you know President Trump was big with, uh, with, with, with the military. He said he's spending all the money on military, military. Well, did you know that Boeing? Look what happened to Boeing. You know, look what happened to all the military stocks. You know, you know regardless of the market going up, you got to listen to them carefully, whatever, them, whatever their thing is. I remember also, not to, you know, not to waste too much time on this, but I remember also um, what happened with, when, uh, when, when uh, Obama got elected and all of a sudden all these uh, wind, wind companies went like off the roots, uh, went crazy, like all the solars and everything. All these solar panels, all these companies like went from like we're up like three, four hundred percent. So we all know what everyone stands for. So it's very important that you focus on those. I know you might not like it, you might do like it, whatever your political beliefs are. But as a trader, remember we are the same party. So I just want to point that out because you know you got to keep an eye on those healthcare companies because that's one of the biggest things they're pushing, and also you know climate change. So if there's any big stocks out there, and if they do get elected, you know that's what you have to focus on. Um, now regarding about what stocks are moving, the reason why I'm bringing that up, it's about the pharmaceutical stocks. You notice that they kept going after pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical. We all know pharmaceutical stocks make a killing, right? We all know it. And, um, and sure enough, look at it. So when you see these stocks go up, you know, you probably know why the profits, you, know, you can see why they, why they hate them so much. Um, uh, but anyway, they're doing great. 
The only time they do bad is when they don't get FDA approval. But anyway, keep an eye on the pharmaceutical stocks, all right, because they're obviously uh, moving. Now, obviously, what's the big news that's coming out at 11 o'clock? You heard that they're going to be signing the trade agreement. Uh, listen, buy on rumor, sell on news. Market is down right now. You know, why, why would it be down if they're going to be signing the first phase of the, of, of, of the new agreement? Well, listen, keep an eye on the Chinese stocks, okay? Chinese stocks also have been on a big little, little tear. Uh, Neo also gapped up this morning. You know, there's that uh, a mini, a, a mini Tesla right there. So you got, you got to keep an eye on some of these stocks right here also. Um, let me talk about some other stocks that we rarely do trade. And uh, but Pinterest, I talked about some good swing trades. Pinterest got destroyed. Okay, Pinterest tested a major, major support levels. I want to bring this back up right here. And uh, you can see Pinterest is starting to go up. You know, it was great yesterday. It had a great move from 20 all the way to 22. Only problem, it's a little bit of a brand name stock, so be careful of it. The big, big news this morning also coming out is obviously Target. Target got crushed this morning. 125 down to 114. But the thing is this, we're not trading Target, but I got to talk about it because I guess I got to be, you know, trader correct. You know, I say politically correct. I got to be trader correct. You got to talk about some of these things that are going on, but... Target obviously trending up. Well, on expensive side, I'd rather risk less money, you know, with, with less risk, more reward than some of the other ones. But, you know, listen, if you are one of the advanced traders in here, it is trending up. You know, we all saw what happened with uh, TD Ameritrade. Remember that stock got crushed and it came back. This could be the same thing. Remember, it's not a pharmaceutical stock. And yes, obviously, Benito, uh, uh, Beyond Meats. Beyond Meats was just literally a great, great call. I talked about it yesterday. And, uh, you know, it was in the morning meeting. The only bad thing about it is I know a lot of us can't afford it, but that stock was just just unbelievable. 75 all the way to hit 140. You know, we all know how that story uh, worked out. So anyway, a lot of good stocks to trade. Why? Because it's Wednesday. All right. So listen, we have a lot of new members here. I know a lot of people are watching this on Facebook and, 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 and our, uh, uh, our live feed on YouTube. Listen, you want to come join the room? Listen, not all these stocks are moving, but we always find something different. We only need about two or three of them. A lot of us already made our money already this morning. I know I'm pretty much done. I mean, just trading the CETX trade this morning. But you know what? If I see something good, I'll go out there and share it. CL, uh, CLVS also did pretty well for us also. I did really well on that one. But in the meantime, um, if we see something, we'll say something. And before we go, guys, really quick. I will be on, I'm going to be leaving uh, this afternoon. I'm going to be on NASDAQ's uh, TV show. I'm going to talk about Total View. So we'll send a bulk email to everyone to log in. It runs live uh, on what channel to watch it on. You can watch it live on Twitter Live. So I'm going to be on uh, well, probably about a little while. They keep me on for a while. So um, if you guys want to watch it, feel free. We'll send a bulk email on it. Once again, it's on Traders Talk. With uh, Jill and at NASDAQ Center, I'll be there. So, yep. And then, yes, Phil, there is going to be class two also today. So, but we're not going to, you, you'll be able to watch this before class starts at three o'clock. All right. And then don't forget, guys, one last thing I forgot to mention. Monday, stock market is closed. It is Martin Luther King Day. So, guess what? You got a day off. I expect Friday to be a slow one. A lot of people are going to make long, they love a one day, three day weekend. So, once again, I'm not expecting Friday to be a crazy one. So don't forget, Friday market is closed, you know, for Martin Luther King Day. So um, expect a lot of people being a little quiet going on for this uh, uh, weekend, all right? But you got, you got today and tomorrow to, ki uh, to kick some butt. Good luck, everyone. Happy trading. And uh, we'll start commentating in the next uh, 15 minutes, all right, when the market opens up. Good luck, everyone. So far, good job so far if you made money. That's how you do it. Happy trading.